Queensland got the early upper hand against Central Coast thanks to Claire Polkinghorne's close range shot. The Mariners worked hard to respond. Renee Rollison following through to make the most of this loose ball. But young Matilda Casey Dumont was on top of her game. Rollison continued looking dangerous in conjunction with Kaya Simon, but Central Coast still stumbled in front of goal. After the break, the Mariners were well in it until Polkinghorne set up this header for Lana Harch. And a foul from Caitlin Cooper just inside the area then gave Queensland further momentum. Lauren Colthorpe slotting the Raw's third unanswered goal and her third goal of the season. A long-range effort from Elise Kelland Knight hit the crossbar and she was awarded the goal. It was a near thing, adding fuel to the debate about just how hard it is to get these decisions right in the goal now. With the score 4-0, the game was all but over, but the Raw wanted more and Stephanie Latham went in for the kill. Quite a finish from quite an angle. Five goals and three points, and Queensland had taken first place on the W League ladder, bumping Sydney down to second. Um, yeah, I think it was a good tough game. Like, first half was real competitive, and then found in the second half we controlled the ball a lot more and you know, got some more possession, and putting four goals in the second half that really showed our dominance in the second half, so it was a good performance, I think. Then we're just better on the day. We, I suppose we didn't create very many chances today, and... I don't know, we tried to pick ourselves up from Canberra last week, we beat Canberra last week and I don't know what happened today, we just went on our game.